Hi everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I've got a clean and simple card that is an invitation to have a virtual happy hour. I created this stamp set back in 2017 when I first started designing products for Simon Says Stamp and I could not have guessed that this would be something that I would be doing in our modern era. All right, let's jump in and take a look at the products I'm using for this simple card. The set is called Happy Hour, and there's just a bunch of little icons of your favorite cocktails and sentiments, including the prescient Want to Skype for Happy Hour, which I think in this spring of 2020, a lot of us are doing. I've got the coordinating dies as well, and then I've got a few other products here that I'm going to be using. I've got our little rainbow of Gina K Design inks, and I've got some embossing powder and Versamark and some cardstock. I'll be using Nina Solar White 110 pound and just a little black cardstock from Simon Says Stamp and a few other things as we go. So let's jump in. I'm going to be stamping today with my brand new Black Misty. This is a new version of the Misty with black rulers. This is from Hero Arts and My Sweet Petunia. Love the Misty and as I like to say, can you have too many Misties? I mean I suppose you can if you run out of space but this is what makes stamping possible for me. So I'm going to choose the cocktail styles that I want to stamp and lay them all out on my cardstock. True story, I don't really drink right now. I kind of dialed back my, my red wine intake oh, a couple years ago because I was having some issues with high blood pressure and it turns out if you're me and you like to drink red wine, the only way you get it all down is with bowls and bowls of Pepperidge Farm goldfish. So we, we had to cut that out. Now you'll see there that pink one. I forgot to turn the film function on on the camera. So I stamped that in passionate pink, followed up with this lovely sweet mango for the orange. And the thing I love about the Misty is that it does allow you to stamp in the exact same place as long as the magnet is holding your paper there, right? You can just keep stamping repeat stamping, which I would not be able to do freehand, let's let's be real, especially not if I'd had a cocktail or two. <laughs> I've never done a crafting while drinking video. Never say never. Anywho, I digress. Just working my way around with my ink cubes and stamping down the cocktails. The blue one is a nod to my husband who, I think he likes to drink things that go in those short glasses. That's not, I, that's not my, even if I were drinking, that would not be my jam. All right, the coordinating dies are taped into place with some low-tech purple tape, and they pop cleanly out. Ah, just a happy little collection of cocktails and drinks. Now for the sentiment. I'm going to line it up here on my Misty. Take a look at it. The nice thing is there's a grid that you can see. And I've got my black cardstock in place, so I'll grab my embossing magic pad just to add a little powder that removes static and oil because the dark cardstock tends to want to grab embossing powder in places where maybe you don't want it. So I'll take my Versamark ink. This is my sticky clear embossing ink. I'll go ahead and give this just gentle pressure to stamp down the sentiment. Lift that up and I'll add my powder. This is Alabaster White from Brutus Monroe, one of my favorite powders. I'll just sprinkle it on. Let it sit there for a second, tap it off, give it one more little shake, and tap and flick a little to get the excess powder to fall away. Now, if you take a look there, something happened with the O and it didn't stamp perfectly, so I had an idea. First, I'm gonna brush off that excess powder, because again, dark cardstock, I find especially with the black, it tends to wanna stick everywhere. So I brushed it away, and I'm gonna heat set this really quickly, and then I'm going to grab my embossing pen from Ranger. This is an embossing pen, and this is a great tool to have in your stash for salvaging things like this if some part doesn't stamp the way you wanted it. All I'm going to do is just gently tap into that little place where the O didn't stamp, shake on a little powder. It's going to look, it's going to look a little janky, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to fix it. So now I've, I've filled it in. I'm doing, I guess, what you would call sentiment surgery get the craft pick out and kind of smooth it and shape it, heat set that very quickly, and then come back to it, and again, using that point of the craft pick, just smooth it out. No one will know. I know, and you know, but no one else will know. I'm gonna use my sentiment labels to quickly trim out this sentiment. I'll run that through my die cut machine, pop it out, 
and I'll trim down the sides a little bit off camera. Next I'll prep my card base and this is the Nina Solar White 110 pound classic crest solar white. And I'll fold this down, press it with my Teflon bone folder, and this is five and a half wide by four and a quarter tall, which is a US A2 designation. I'll tape this closed because that cardstock is so thick it likes to pop open, and I like things to be flat. So I'm going to bring in my clear T square and just tape it down. I like to tape it into place sometimes so once I know where things are going, the ruler doesn't move. And I'm popping this sentiment up right in the center using some thin foam squares that I've cut apart and placed on the back. And then I've used the same foam squares on the back of the little cocktail icons, just sort of arranging them, placing the first three down because I doubled up the foam squares on both the little martini, is that a martini? I think it is, and the old fashioned, if you will, because I wanted those to have a little more dimension and sort of pop up just a little bit higher than the other drinks. I think that looks pretty cute. Now to finish the card, I grabbed some crystalline drops from Gina K. I like using this as an adhesive, especially for things like silver sequins. And I've just placed five silver sequins. These are from Pretty Pink Posh, sort of cascading from bottom to top. It actually looks like maybe ice cubes are flying out of that old fashioned. I don't know. But the end result, just a little bit of shine on a very simple project. So really like the way this turned out and I will send this in a matching envelope. This is a passionate pink envelope from Gina K Designs. Her inks and envelopes and card stocks match beautifully. You'll find all of the products that I used for this card linked below this video. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.